There are three different types of rock, igneous rock, metamorphic rock and sedimentary rock. And in this video we're going to concentrate on sedimentary rocks and how they're formed. Sedimentary rocks include rocks such as conglomerate, mudstone and limestone. Minerals settling in layers at the bottom of the sea create sedimentary rock. Let's look in more detail at this process. First of all we start with a process called weathering which is large rocks breaking up into small pieces called sediment. And there are three main examples of weathering that we're going to look at in more detail. The first is biological weathering and this is weathering by living organisms. So it's when plants and animals break up rocks into smaller pieces. So for example this plant growing within this rock here, the roots will go grow down and it will gradually over time break apart the rock into smaller sediments. Chemical weathering is another type of weathering and this is the weathering by chemicals. Rain is slightly acidic. When rain falls on rocks, chemical reactions break down the rock. So for example this statue here gradually over time has been broken down by it could be rain because that's slightly acidic or even further acid rain. And the final one is physical weathering. So weathering due to physical changes and this could be for example water or sand bashing into the rocks gradually breaking down the large rocks into those smaller pieces that we call sediments. Freeze thaw is another example of physical weathering. Water enters cracks within a rock. The water freezes and expands into ice and this causes the crack to widen and causes the rock to break. And this will happen on cliff edges and things like that but it will also annoyingly happens quite a lot on roads causing big cracks and potholes. Then the sediment, the small pieces of rocks, are moved away from where they were broken down. So this could be by wind or water for example and this process is called transportation. Together these two processes we would describe as erosion. So once the sediments have been moved somewhere they next need to be deposited. And the next process is called deposition whereby sediments settle in layers for example on the bottom of the ocean. So here's a diagram to show these three processes. First of all we have the weathering process whereby large rocks are broken down into smaller sediments and we said this could be biological, chemical or physical. We then have transportation which is the movement of our sediment so it could be by the rivers or by wind for example and then the deposition, the dropping of the sediment in a new location. So for example here the wind might have gathered and deposited the sediment on here or perhaps this is building up in the bottom of the ocean because of the sediment brought in by the river or perhaps a large lake. The next process in forming sedimentary rocks is called compaction. It's got the word compact in there because this, this is when the weight of the sediments, those small pieces of rock, and the water above it squashes the sediments together. So you can imagine if the sediment was settling at the bottom of the sea in layers and layers and layers and layers of sediment you've got lots of water on top pushing down and the weight of the sediment itself and this compaction stage is when it squashes all together. The final stage is cementation and look for the word cement in there because that's when the layers of sediments stick together to form the sedimentary rock. And this is what the sedimentary rock might look like. The key thing is, is you can clearly see those layers of sediment as they've built up over time and compacted and cemented together. This is why at the beginning we said in forming sedimentary rocks we've got minerals settling in layers at the bottom of the sea creating sedimentary rock. 
Sedimentary rock often contains fossils because as the layers of sediment build up, dead marine organisms also settle amongst the layers and form fossils. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at gccrevisionmonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at sciencesurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.